All right, we're out here on the Derwin Pioneer today, testing it out. This is my first day on the bike. This is a 26 by 4 inch fat tire e-bike. It's the second one in a row that I've tested. Uh, we all know the first one I tested, and if you don't, you can go back and check my videos. But this is a pretty awesome bike in the way that it looks, and it has some lacking features and some really good features, and we're going to go through that today. Now this is a 26 by 4 inch fat tire bike with a semi low frame so you can step over it pretty easily. Um, or if you step up at a stoplight or a stop sign, you don't hit yourself in the you know what whenever you get off the bike, if you're a male that is. Now this bike is pretty, pretty stealthy in the way that it looks. It's pretty much all black, minimal branding. On this side you don't have any logos at all and I, I love that about this bike we'll look at the other side here in a second but as you can see here there are no logos whatsoever it's really stealthy if i took the bag off it would probably even be even more stealthy um, but it does have reflective striping on the tires which stands out but other than that this is what it looks like now we'll get a little bit closer here now i'm going to take this battery off it's right here I'm going to take that off, but as you can see, the frame's all black. It's kind of like a matte black color. Now, these are no-name tires, at least from what I can tell. They do say that they're Kenda tires on their website. I think they're Innova tires, which they have some branding on the tire that you can barely see. I don't even know if my camera will pick it up. It says Love Tire here, and then it says Innova. So these are not kin to tires. They do look exactly the same. I don't know if they're as well made as the kin to tires, but the last bike I reviewed had kin to tires that looked exactly like this. So just want to point that out. They do advertise these as being kin to, but things change in the industry and you don't always have the ability to put everything that you say on the website on your bike. But I just wanted to mention that. So no kin to tires on mine. I just got this bike in a couple days ago, just unboxed it yesterday after work. The cool features about this bike that are a little bit different than the last bike that I tested. As you can see down here, we have the cool headlight. It's got a dual beam and it looks like it's pretty bright. You can't tell in video, but in person it looks like it's going to be pretty bright at night. Now there is a rear tail light as well. And this one has a little bit different of a brake feature and I'll try to demonstrate that. So it actually flashes when you have the uh, brakes pulled and it does that with the lights on and the lights off. Now this doesn't come with the bag that's on the back. I usually take all the accessories off when I do these types of videos, the first impression videos, but I got a bunch of camera gear because I'm shooting some video on this bike of course and I wanted to carry it with me without having to wear my backpack. And the rear rack's always good for that. Now it does have mounting points right here for our front rack, which they do sell on their website. So if you do pick up this bike, looks like they have those available. So that's pretty nice. It does have suspension forks with adjustable locking suspension. I currently have it on the softest setting. It rides pretty well from what I can tell just off my first four or five miles on the bike. And then we have the preload adjustment over here on the other side. So you can adjust the rebound on that. Again, there are no logos on this side. You don't see any branding whatsoever. The only branding on this bike, as far as the brand of the bike goes, is right here and it's kind of hard to pick up but it says Derwin right here and then down here it says Pioneer that might be yeah you can see that on camera so pretty neat looking you won't really be able to see that very well when you're um, out on the trail or riding around the street or anything it doesn't really show up from far back and I like that I think that really sets the bike off me personally, I don't like any logos on my bike, and uh, 
the fact that it barely has any is really cool. Now it does have an Altus derailleur in the back and the motor in the back is Derwin Brandon and it's a 750 watt hub motor. The crank right here and the chain ring, it uh, is not double walled. So you always have the tendency of your pants getting caught in this or the chain flopping off when you're riding. Although it doesn't happen often. As long as you take care of your bike and you make the necessary adjustments and do the maintenance, you should be all right with this. Now it does have a set of Welgo metal pedals on here, which most every e-bike that I review has these. And they're, they're decent, they do their job. You can always upgrade these at a later time. It does have the plastic fenders, which is my preference because they don't make very much noise when you get rocks and dirt and mud up in there. It does have an integrated rear rack, as you can see. I got my back strapped on there. It's standard size. Uh, most every bike bag is gonna fit on there. It has 180 millimeter rotors with Logan hydraulic brakes. So here's the hydraulic brakes. You literally can squeeze these with one finger and you'll stop. I love hydraulic brakes and this is a well-known brand and works really good. It doesn't come with a mirror, it doesn't come with the phone holder or the headlight, the one on the handlebars. So these are leather ergonomic grips. It's got the palm rest here when you're riding, that's really comfortable. They're really soft, um, seem like they're decently made. Some of these you get, they're kind of cheap and the, the webbing's coming off but these are really nice. This is just your controls for your screen and I'll show you how all of that works in just a second. Over here, we got your seven speed Shimano shifter. It's got a half twist throttle. So if you're on PAS zero, as we are here, your throttle doesn't work. I like that feature because I'd like to be able to shut this off if I needed to. It basically eliminates the need for a button or anything like that. And then some are just enabled all the time, no matter what PAS level you're in. If you're in zero, then it's not gonna work at all. But if you're in zero on some of the other bikes, it works in every PAS level. So this is the screen. It's kind of hard to see right now, but here it is. As you hit the up and down button, it changes the mode. So it goes from zero to five. Zero, it basically tells you it's off. One tells you it's in economy mode. Low for two normal, high, and then power. So five, of course, is your, most of your power is gonna to go to that. And then it changes the color of the screen um, as you go through those different levels. It does have a battery meter here. It tells you your percentage of your battery. No voltage gauge or anything like that that I can see as of right now. Has your speedometer right here, and this little dial moves when you're going. And then as you go and you hit 15 miles an hour, it enlarges this and makes it um, full screen so you can see the speed the trip shows your tripometer so total miles per trip um, you have to manually reset that odometer total miles on the bike and then how many watts you're pushing out to the motor and that's pretty much it if you push up in the power button at the same time you have to hit up first and then the power button it'll take you to this little mileage screen and it'll tell you how long you've been on the bike how many miles you've done and then kind of the speed that you're going as well as your your minimum and your maximum so it'll tell you it should graph it out here it'll tell you your max speed and your average speed it's just a really cool little graph to tell you what you're doing and i'll leave that on hopefully you can see that in the video when we're riding the day and see what all of that does now i also left the plastic on this now this bike is priced at $22.99 yes $2,299 for this bike I think that's a little bit too much I'm gonna see if I can get a discount code to save you guys some money if you are interested in this I will leave a link in the description to the bike and if I have a coupon code I will leave that in the description as well you're welcome to go check out their website and learn more about this bike uh, hopefully they lower the price with the uh, competition now this battery I kind of like the battery and I kind of don't like it I like it for a security standpoint I don't like it for convenience and I'm gonna try to demonstrate this with one hand it's kind of hard to do but basically you just unlock it and it releases the battery 
that's pretty standard and then you can just pull it out like this down here is where your connections it's similar to uh, a couple of the other bikes with the last one I reviewed but then you just slide it down into that little slot you push it up here and it does not lock in place and now that's a good feature for some things but it's not a good feature for convenience but yeah you need the key to take the battery off of course but you also need it to put the battery back on from a security standpoint that's great because if you take the battery off and you go into the grocery store or into the gas station or something like that and you want to ride this bike you can take the battery off throw it in your backpack if they steal your bike they have to have first a battery to hook up here the exact same one which i don't know if these are standard or not but it doesn't look like it and two they have to have the same key to be able to lock it back in place now you could probably pop this key out and replace it and get a different battery you might be able to get this battery with a key and a key lock i doubt it though so from a security standpoint that's pretty cool and i like the fact that they actually have the controller mounted in the back where you don't have to really worry about water splashing up on it when you're riding my other bike has it mounted up in this section right here and that's i don't really like that but I do like it the way it's mounted here. It does have a derailleur guard, which is, I wish every e-bike company would just throw those on their bike to protect during shipping and during riding. If you hit a curb with your derailleur, you can really mess it up and have to completely replace it. And if you have a de derailleur guard, then you don't have to worry about it. One thing I don't like about this bike is that you can get pedal lock. Because the kickstand is here, if your pedal gets locked, you can't, you can't just kick the kickstand up. See how it's getting stuck? That's a big no-no. Now they, they could have welded a piece back here, added a kickstand back in the back like most bikes. Now in the middle, it really does help with holding the bike up better. So from that standpoint, you can see I can balance my bike and my handlebar stay in place and that's nice, but I don't like the fact that you're gonna have pedal lock whenever you're uh, out usually when you have it mounted back here you can you know turn your pedals all the way around you can see that in my last video as well but that's the bike the Derwin Pioneer if you have any questions or you want to see more about the bike or if I missed anything just leave a comment down below if you want to see more e-bike reviews and more e-bike videos, make sure you hit that like button. That really helps out the channel. It increases the algorithm. The more people that see my videos, the more chances I have of getting more bikes to review. And that's what I'm all about. That's, my, that's what my channel is about, reviewing bikes. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And now we're going to move on to the unboxing.
So we're out on the Derwin Pioneer. This is a 26 by four inch fat tire e-bike. So this is my second 26 by four inch fat tire bike that I'm reviewing in a row. The first one was a Magicycle Cruiser, which I'm gonna to continue to make videos about because I love that bike so far. This bike has some components that are a little bit better. Um, then it has some things that are not a little bit better. Now this is not a comparison video for the Magicycle Cruiser by any means. This is just a initial impressions of the Derwin. So this is the Derwin Pioneer. Derwin makes two bikes. They also have another model. You can go check their website if you want to look at that. I literally just hopped on the bike today. Take it for a spin. I did ride it around my parking lot whenever I first unboxed it, but I did not take it out for a good long spin like I am today. So this bike has Logan hydraulic brakes, which is my favorite feature just because I love hydraulic brakes. And Logan's a pretty well-known name when it comes to hydraulic brakes. And so far they're uh, exceeding my expectations so far. Now the screen on the Derwin is unlike any other e-bike screen I've seen. It does have a couple cool features, but as you can tell, the screen changes depending on your speed. So as you're increasing your miles per hour, the screen changes once it hits 15 and enlarges so you can see your speed. And it basically just shows the speed and that's it until you drop below 15, which is pretty cool. Now you do sit a little bit further forward on this bike, like you're leaning more compared to the other one I have. Now it does have the ability to change the speed limiter settings. I don't know if you can change it that much. And I'll explain that in just a second as well. But I currently do not have the passcode, so I did look online and I checked the manual and I couldn't find it anywhere. From what I read in the manual, the fastest it can go is 35 kilometers per hour, which is 22 miles per hour. Which is a little disappointing. But the bike does ride nice. Seat's pretty comfortable. I would probably change it out. Hello. I would probably change it out uh, as I do with almost all my e-bikes. But considering this is only a 750 watt, 48 volt system, you're not getting a lot of power out of this bike no matter what. Now you probably could increase the speed, but as far as torque and all that, this is what you're seeing is what you get. Has your normal Shimano shifter with your Altus seven speed derailleur on the back. Most e-bikes have something like that or similar. Oh, it's a little wet out here. There's a chair out here too. I did tighten up the suspension zone, so I probably need to fix that a little bit. change it actually let's put it on the softest
but it's a decent bike. Again, it rides pretty well. Now, I wish the handlebars were a little bit more upright, and I could probably fix that by lowering my seat a little bit. But maybe a little bit of a rise on the handlebars would help with ergonomics. Now coming from a 52 volt bike to a 48 volt bike definitely makes a difference. You can tell a difference for sure. So if you're picking and choosing, personally, eh, I guess it just depends on what you want. I mean, you have a lot of options in the e-bike world. The, the market is saturated with all kinds of different choices. But I really do like these hydraulic brakes. See if we can make it up this hill. <laughs> Darn only. But that's the Derwent Pioneer. If you want to know anything else about this bike, let me know. I'd appreciate it if you thumbs up this video. It really helps out the really helps out the channel and provides the algorithm the numbers it needs to boost this video up. So the more likes I get on this video, the better the video does. If you have any questions or you want to know anything more about the Derwent Pioneer. Make sure you go down to the comment section. Let's talk about it. I'll answer any questions you have. Or if you have questions about anything else, you know, comment down below as well. I'm here all the time. I'm available in the comment section all the time. So I always look for your, your questions and your comments. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe to see more. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.